Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3 video. In this one, I'm trying Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is the second game in this trilogy. And this is the Epic Store version. Uh, so, I have not installed the mod right now. I am on 1080p. Here, on 1080p. And every setting is on very high or ultra, which can be set to. Uh, just the effects are off because they uh, don't work properly with the FSA 3 mod. Currently, I have not installed it, but when I install, they flicker a little bit, so that's why I have disabled these effects. And right now, on 1080p, uh, very high setting, I'm getting around 100, and 100 to 120 FPS. Mm, yeah, mm, that's about the native FPS without the mod. Now we will begin to install the mod and see how much uh, more FPS we can get. Let's begin, shall we? Okay, first I'm gonna quit the game and I will also show you uh, how to fix the crashing issue if you are on Epic version. If you are not on Epic, uh, then you can skip that step. And so let's begin. First, download the Rise of the Tomb Raider zip from the link in the description, extract it to the directory. Uh, then after that copy everything in the directory Go to your game installation folder for me, which is here epic games as of the Tom Raider and where the ROTTR.exe is located paste everything right here. Okay, that's the FSR 3 uh, mod uh, pasted now We're gonna fix the crashing issue as startup uh, so if you are on epic games you can follow this step if you are not on epic or maybe you are using a pirated version you can skip this step okay so first of all we need to uh, go to a location uh, which path i will be pasted in the description uh, if you have installed the epic games in c directory you can copy this and after that go to my computer uh, then copy place on the address bar and delete this and press ctrl v i mean paste and then hit enter you will be directly landed to this folder if you have not epic in the c directory then you can just open up your epic uh, installation folder after that go to epic games launcher portal extra overlay uh, after that you will see two files uh, you just need to select one by one and rename them and delete the dot exe at the end uh, after that click outside click on yes and then again select the second file click on rename after that delete the dot exe click on outside then click yes okay now that's done also do not run msi after warner with this game because every epic games uh, do seems to crash when you use fsr 3 mod and msi after warner together so also don't do that now i'm gonna run to the game and see how much fps we can get uh, no need to skip ahead this game has no intro so we'll be landed directly into the checkpoint uh, in 10 seconds <clears throat> so previously it was uh, maybe around 100 and 120 if i remember it correctly okay now i just need to go to option select display and set the nvidia dlss to quality and there we go as you can see the fps fsr 3 is fully working there is a hood glitching there is a little trick to fix that also uh, as you can see that fps is around 160 170 uh and yeah 170 80 and if i look this way it will get even maybe 200 yeah that's about it uh okay so let's fix the uh, hood shall we as you can see this is glitching you just need to switch to the smaa anti-aliasing uh, and it will be fixed go to display and turn off the dlss if you have uh, rtx card and just turn on the anti-aliasing to fxs or sma whichever you like i like sms better because fxs give me um, like very jagged edges so we just switch to fx uh, sma and now as you can see the hood glitching is fixed but the fps is a little bit lower from previous like previously it was around 100 and 
60 70 and now it's around 150 uh, i was looking that way and it was giving me like 200 and now it's like 180 it's not very less but the hood glitching issue is fixed so you can live with either of those you can have the hood glitching issue and the high fps or you can just disable the um, nvidia dlss uh, you can get a little bit lower fps or uh, you will get uh, no hood glitching at all so both is your choice uh, my work is done here i have guided you to the mod now you choose what you, you want to use so yeah guys this is it uh, do subscribe to the channel if this video helps you if you face any kind of issue comment down below i will try to help you as much as i can and now i will mute my mic and run the game maybe one to two minutes to show you guys how much fps boost we are getting thank you guys do subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one to raise the water.